Hi, how are you? So in this video, I'm going to talk about five beauty products that I don't currently like, what is the reason, and how I'm kind of making it work along with this video. There's another video with five things that I do like. Everything I mentioned here is vegan and cruelty-free as always, and everything will be in the description box. So without talking anymore, let's begin. <laughs> Okay, the first one, Physician's Formula Rose All Day Mascara. When I saw this at the store, I was so excited because if you know me, I like everything rose. It's my favorite flower. I love how it smells. Vegan, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this. <laughs> and it smells wonderful too. It's, it just literally smells like you have an actual rose in front of you. So what I didn't like is that when I apply this and it was time for me to take off my makeup, like I would see a lot of my eyelashes on the cotton. Like when I was removing my makeup, like a lot of eyelash fallout. So that didn't make me feel comfortable to continue using this, which is not normal for that to happen. I haven't seen that with other mascaras. I just got kind of scared in the sense that I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm losing a lot of my eyelashes. They're all gonna fall out. But um, that's a shame, like I'm gonna give it another try because I really wanna like it, but then I'm like, hmm. <laughs> okay, next up I have this organic rose hip oil. And this was in my wish list, so my sister got this for me over Christmas and the ingredients say 100% pure organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, rosa musqueta. So you can read that on the back on the label. So what I found weird about this bottle, this had a lot of sales, a lot of reviews, is that, I don't know, like the scent when you open the bottle, like it doesn't even have any smell. So I'm just comparing this to another one that I previously had that the scent was kind of like sweet, like it was nice. And I felt like my skin instantly goes soft, but I didn't feel that with this oil. So. That just made me, I don't know, like question whether it's as good as the other one that I use, but I am still using it. So I don't like things going to waste. So what I do, I mix this up with my argan oil and a little bit of almond oil and a few drops of this one. So I'm still using it, but I don't think this is something that I'm going to use in the future. Okay, next up, I have this sunscreen by Acure. I hope I'm saying that right. I always get the names wrong. A Cure SPF 30, which is great. It does have, you know, the required SPF for your skin. It has turmeric, ferulic acid, and vitamin C. So what I didn't like about this is that when I apply it on my skin, it, it looked weird. Like I would apply it on one area and then like white blotches, like white spots. It's not like other sunscreens that you know it feels like you're applying it even like the white spots it would just stay like in one concentrated area which i found that weird the after feeling and it feels a little bit sticky at the same time so what i did that i noticed that it worked so instead of applying this way like if you're rubbing the lotion on your face what i did i would do this motion like patting motion to apply it evenly but even so, like the white patches or white spots just would stay in, in one area instead of like being even. So I feel like my skin was not getting like an even application. Even, if, even after I did that, the patting motion, I felt like I was not applying like an even amount of protection to my skin. Even though it's paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free, cruelty free, vegan, so it has all the good things, but it just made me question whether it was protecting my skin. I would say like evenly. That's how I can best explain it. <laughs> okay, next product up is this one. The Kat Von D Perfume Sinner. So I love the bottle. I love that it's vegan. I really wanted to love this one because I do have the white bottle, which I love. And if you saw the other video, where I do talk about the five things that I do like, the other one I do mention there. So I have that one first, the white bottle, which is the Saint. This one is the Sinner. And this is just my opinion because if you read through the reviews, a lot of people like it. And there, there's a few, which I'm included in those few, 
that don't like it. And the reason is because when I used the white bottle, I was thinking, you know, I love the white bottle. Let me get the black one so I have both. And not only that, it looks pretty where I keep my perfumes. But to me, it smells like... I'm going to explain this <laughs> as best as I can. So what I was expecting, I was thinking, you know, I want a perfume. You know, it's the black bottle. It should be the opposite of the white bottle. So I was thinking, you know, that bad mean girl type of perfume like strong but when i smell this it's more like how can i say this like a sweet granny perfume like what she would wear it doesn't smell like you know what i was expecting in my mind what i imagine in my head <laughs> it's all in my head um you might like it maybe it's just me like you said that i i don't like it but i mean i'm still using it this is the one that I used to, to go to work on weekdays, so <laughs> I'm still using it because, you know, it's vegan, I love the bottle, and it has a lot of great reviews, so maybe it's just me. So I'm still using it. <laughs> so what this perfume has is a little bit of orange blossom, mandarin, plum, but um, those are just my thoughts, just being honest here. <laughs> okay, last one is this product by Bliss. This is the cream to water hydrator for all day moisture so first of all look at how it looks so the name says water hydrator so they made it look like water to me like it's so blue to me it looks like the ocean like paradise like an island and what i didn't like about this is that when i applied it on my skin i didn't feel like any moisture at all i felt like like it wasn't doing anything to my skin. So what I did, I applied a few drops of my argan oil and that just made it seem to work really well. Now I love applying this on my skin, but before that, it just felt weird on my skin. It, it just felt like it wasn't doing anything at all. And it has a light scent, nothing too strong. And I love the color, I love the brand for creating cruelty-free and vegan products. It doesn't leave the skin oily at all. And now it feels like my skin is actually getting hydration, which I like. Those are my thoughts on this one. Well, there you go, guys. Don't forget that I also have five products that I really do like in case you want to check that one out. You can leave me a comment, any suggestions of anything that you want to see in the future in the comment section. As always, you can find me everywhere with the same name, Lynn Sire. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Kisses. Bye. Thank you.